Dr. Van Dyke here, board certified endocrinologist coming to you from Surf City, USA, one of my favorite places in the world. But I wanna to talk to you about statins. There's a lot of bad rap going around the internet on statins. And I wanna try and dispel some of these myths. So keep in mind that heart attacks are, or vascular events in total are the number one killer of Americans. They have been for decades. And statins are cornerstone therapy for prevention. About 80% of these events can be prevented if we're paying attention and we're intervening appropriately. But people come in all the time and say, I'm not gonna take that thing. That, that, that statin, that causes dementia. That statin causes diabetes, et cetera. So let's talk for a second. Number one, we have data over decades hundreds of thousands of people, reams of studies that show how effective these meds are in driving that LDL down. The problem of dementia was disproven in 2013 by Johns Hopkins review of over 23,000 patients. And there was no difference in dementia on those patients that took statins and those who did not. Statins are a very potent anti-inflammatory so when we're intervening early, we're preventing formation of vascular disease and we're stabilizing vascular disease that is already there. And that means less vascular dementia. The other problem people talk about is statins cause diabetes. Well, what we have found is that use of statin therapy increases the rate of diabetes in people who already have prediabetes. So it shortens the period of prediabetes. And on average, that's about a two year difference compared to those who had prediabetes and were not using a statin. So I want you to know these facts because it's very easy to get overwhelmed by information on the internet coming at you from all sides. And, and not all of these sources are attending to the decades of data or the details that matter when we're choosing these medications.